Justin Dorsey. I'm here today to talk briefly about how you would uh, check your pressure tank on your submergible well pump. This also works on a jet pump or a constant pressure pump. There are basically three types of commonly used uh, water supply pumps for homes. So it would either be a sub, just a plain submergible well pump, a constant pressure pump, or a jet pump. Your pressure tank is typically located at the entry point into the house, or sometimes it is in a um, separate building such as a, a pump house in some older properties. The thing that is critical about this component is that it, if it is not checked periodically and kept in proper adjustment, it can lead to early failure of your well pump or stress on your plumbing system. So as you look at the gauge that's on your tank or on your tank T, you would want to determine first of all, does the gauge work? because these also sometimes fail. Now you can do that with a simple gauge that screws onto your outside hose bib that would also measure the static pressure of the water. So once you've determined that the gauge works, you would want to turn the water on and let the pump run and see where, it, where the pump kicks on and where it kicks off. And the proper setting for this tank is typically two pounds below the cut in pressure of the pump. So if it was a 40-60 switch, it would, you would set the pressure in this tank at 38 pounds. So what you would, once you've determined that, you would want to turn the power off to the pump. This is done at your breaker box, either at your your single pole switch if it's 115 volt or a double pole switch if it's a 220 and you would want to turn that switch to the off position. Then you would want to go to your outside hose bib or your bathtub and open the faucet and drain your pressure down to zero so that the gauge on your tank was zero. Once you've done that you would then want to take this cap off of the top of this one. Now, not all of them have a cap. And the sniffer valve is right here, the valve stem, if you will, is right here on top of this tank. Now, some would have it in different location, but this one is on top. You would then check the pressure in this tank. In this case, this bladder is ruptured, we know, because it has zero reading. But in your case, you would want it to read two pounds below whatever the cut-in pressure of the pump was. So once again, if it was 4060, you would want it to be at 38 pounds. The only variable for that would be if you had a constant pressure pump. In most cases, the manufacturer would recommend that it be closer to five pounds below the set pressure of the pump. So to give an example, if you had a constant pressure drive pump, you would have pressure set at possibly 70 PSI and you would set your pressure in your bladder on your tank at 65. What this does, it allows your pump to have the proper cycle as it compresses the air in the bladder and then pump shuts off and as you use the water, it forces the water back out through the supply piping in the house. And then it kicks back on at the proper time. If this is out of balance, the pump then kicks off and on, off and on, more frequently, leading to early pump failure. This, this is a, a very common problem that we see and something that you should be aware of and check periodically, at least annually.